all remember, fallen branches and even entire trees littering the city following February's ice storm. All this, of course, knocked out power to tens of thousands of people for days on end. At the time, city leaders faced questions about whether Austin Energy's vegetation management program had done enough mm -hmm. to trim around power lines and prevent the problems. Now, for months, KXN investigator Avery Travis has been asking questions about a backlog of tree trimming. And Avery is joining us now with the very latest from a new city-led audit as the utility Avery is trying to catch up. Britt, Daniel, the audit confirmed what KXN investigators have been telling you, and we've told you before, Austin Energy is behind its tree trimming goal. Utility leadership has told us it's aiming to get back on track by 2028. But this audit, presented at a council committee today, identified two new problems with reaching that goal. First, auditors say the utility lacks a fully developed long-term maintenance plan. They say they're relying on shorter-term planning. Now, secondly, auditors found some inaccurate data they say makes it difficult to check the trimming progress. For example, the auditors found some discrepancies among the dates and the status of jobs in their database. If we don't make the 2028 goal, that's a problem. And so we, we need to be able to see how far we are from that and, and adjust accordingly. Sure, Important to note, and utility leaders told the council today, vegetation management wouldn't have solved every problem we saw during that winter storm. But they did tell those council members they are going to be taking the auditor's advice. If we plan to work and work to plan and you continue to support, we will get this back on track. Trying to digest all this, Avery, did the audit give us any new insight into what actually led to the backlog? Yes, there's a lot of background, so if we can back up a little bit, we mm -hmm. did know that in 2006, City Council at the time uh, made some changes so that crews would actually not be able to cut enough distance away from those power lines, uh, and that was not up oh. to industry standards. Now, because of that council restriction, Austin Energy says it started to get behind. Mm -hmm. In 2019, council made a change they brought it back up to that industry standard. But at that point, labor shortages and some other issues with getting contractors hired left them short staffed. So earlier this year, leadership told us it hired on four new contractors. They're trying to get them off the ground to help get back to that goal. But the utility did tell council members today those crews probably won't get started on that work until around October.